Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sade here. If you're new, then welcome. Sit down, take a seat, get a snack, get a cup of tea. We're gonna be here for a little while, so get comfy. If you've been here before, you already know what to do, but thank you so much for coming back. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video today. I'm really excited to film it. So much so that I actually put some makeup on. I'm not gonna lie, I did film this yesterday and it just didn't give me the je ne sais quoi that I was looking for. So, so I'm hoping today that we can do it justice. Today's video is gonna be all about the DIY TikToks. I haven't seen anyone do this, but I have seen people react to TikToks for literally like the last year or so. So we're gonna do our own version of this today. And I'm by no means gonna be slandering anything, blah, blah, blah. I do love to do a bit of DIY myself, but I'm also here to get inspiration, tips, tricks, see what everyone's up to, what the new trends are, what the new quirks are and basically give you guys a bit of an insight as to what's going on as well. If you haven't already, then subscribe, especially if you've watched a few of my videos now and you're feeling like you like me, you like my vibe, subscribe. And if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload from me. Because I'm not gonna lie, I don't really post on schedule, so you might miss a video because sometimes I just post at the most random times. <laughs> so, so that you don't miss a video, hit the notification bell. I'm gonna search a couple of hashtags. There's one in mind that I have, which is just, uh, DIY home decor. Just as a disclaimer, <laughs> TikTok allows you to play like actual chart music on your videos. So I'm gonna screen record and I'm gonna put it here so that we can watch it together. But I'm not gonna be able to put the original audio because I'll get demonetized and I'm trying to make a coin out here. So, but I'll try to kind of n narrate what I see as well. Okay, so first one that I'm gonna click on, I have seen this before, but I wanna see if you guys like this. So they've gone to the Dollar Tree, which is like a pound land, pound stretcher in the UK. They've bought a gift box, some wooden dowels, some black spray paint, and they have made that gorgeous little shelf. I think this is so creative, and this is what I really like about TikTok. Just the creativity, like the things that you can see in a 15 a second video is beyond crazy. I would never look at a gift box like that and be, be like, oh, let me make a little shelf for my bathroom. Amazing. The only thing that I would say about that particular design, that it's probably not gonna be the best like, waterproof kind of product that you can have. So um, it's probably not best placed next to a sink in a bathroom. However, it literally costs a few dollars or like put it on a different shelf or something, but so, so clever. Okay, this next one is actually quite long. I'm not gonna lie, but I really like it. So this guy decided to do an accent wall and this wooden like kind of slat feature wall is really popular at the moment. But what I like what he does about this is he actually makes it really renter friendly. So he's using these sticky pad Velcro tabs to adhere them to the wall instead of using adhesive or brad nails or screws. So it means that when he wants to move out in the future, he can just rip them all down. It also means that if he gets bored of the design, if he's anything like me, <laughs> and after a few months, if he gets bored, he can literally just rip it all down and it's not gonna cause any damage to his walls. So this is a really cool way of doing it. However, just make sure that the pads are really sticky and do adhere properly and that the wood isn't too heavy. Because if you're lying down at night, one of them just smacks you on the face. It's not gonna be fun. But yeah, love that. 10 out of 10 for creativity and just smartness. Love that. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so she's got some frames. She's gonna take the backing out. Um, don't know what that was. She's putting LED strips in. And then she's covering that little section. Oh, they're quite cool. I actually quite like those. That's actually quite cool. LEDs, I'm really like hit and miss with LEDs. I feel like they're really cool in like a kitchen or a young kid's room, or if you're into that vibe. But I just feel like for, I don't know, like the everyday home decor, I'm not really about LED lights, but that is so creative and so, so clever. The next one is this $47 DIY modern table. Okay, so she wanted this table from West Elm. She didn't want to wait for it. And it's probably more expensive as well. She bought four dowels for $9 each. She cut the legs with a mitre saw. And she just placed them around a water bottle just to get the shape that she wanted. She's so clever. Okay, the painter's tape holds it together while she's gluing it so that it keeps the shape that she wants. She just used hot glue. I probably would have gone with wood glue just for strength, but it'd be fine stuck it to the tabletop and spray painting it <gasps> oh right we love kb kb is just a diy interior design just guru she is amazing that is so gorgeous the fact that she did this for under 50 dollars and it looks 
expensive, darling. And do you know what? It wasn't even that difficult to do. Like as long as you don't even need a mighty saw, it would be it would be a bit more helpful and probably give a cleaner cut. But if you just had a hand saw to, to do this, grab yourself some of the dowels, hand saw it, glue it together, and then stick a tabletop on top. And you could do a square one, you could do a slightly smaller round one anything that looks stunning well done Kobe. i love that okay this one looks interesting so let's see what this one's about okay so she's got loads of these um ping pong balls she's hot gluing them all together into rings and then on top of each other people are so creative okay she's spraying it gold oh wow that's so clever okay I'm not a huge fan of the gold, um, so I probably would have done a matte black. I think it would have looked a bit more sleek. The gold, I feel like, makes it look a little bit blingy. However, she clearly loves her gold, so that's what she wants. And that is the really good thing about interiors and fashion and makeup and everything. Like, it's really nice that people have got their own styles and their own passions when it comes to these things. There, There is such a huge range. Some people love minimalism. Some people love maximalism. Maximalism? Not sure if that's a word, <laughs> but some people love e eclectic, bright colours, bold colours. Some people really love like it paired all the way down and just like kind of me, like a neutral palette. I just find that really sophisticated with lots of touch of black decor. That's my vibe. Some people find it really boring, but it's nice that we all have different tastes. And I love the fact that she's been so creative there again, just to make that. And it looks expensive. I'm not going to lie. If I saw that, I would think it was like one of those crazy bespoke items that you get from these like small interior design shops on Instagram and all those places. So yeah, again, it's so creative. Okay, let's see the next one. The cutest couples DIY. So they are mixing some like rubber that you then make a mold out of, I think. And then they're making the clay to put inside. Okay, so they've poured it in the mold and then they're gonna rip off the silicone or whatever the rubber is around the mold. Oh, that's really good. The detail on that is amazing. Uh, wow. I wonder how long they had to keep their hands in that to make that shape. Oh, that is actually quite cute. I feel like that would be really nice if you wanted to keep say, I personally don't, <laughs> I'm gonna sound really like mean here. I don't think I love it. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't love it, but I think it's really adorable. I think I'm gonna go and move on to a different hashtag before and after home sort of things and let's see what people's interior design styles are like because I'm just really noisy and I wanna see see this. I quite like that before, not gonna lie, it just needs a bit of paint. Gorgeous. Like that style is very um, like kind of glamour, glamorous really nicely done though. I feel like when you've got a big enough space to play with that sort of colour scheme, like the golds, the marbles, if it's quite a big space, it looks really sophisticated. Um, and if it's kind of like good quality stuff, it looks good. Move on to the next one. I like that wall colour. Nice. Again, quite a lot of gold, neutral colours. This is again, very glam. You can see the kind of like mirror table in the middle, uh, the gold, over quite big um, pendant light, um, but it's really nice. It's not over the top, like not everything in that room is shiny, like the TV unit. Looks like it's a really nice kind of darker wood color. The wall colors just really nice and soft and quite warm. And the sofas as well are a really nice beige color as opposed to like a cold gray, which kind of usually ties in quite a lot of like silvers and makes places look a little bit cold. But I know that's people's style, but that's just personally what I think. And the floor, gorgeous. I love that color floor. I don't really kind of love wooden floors, um, like a kind of like oak style wooden floor, but I think that color is really, really nice. I wanna see some like, like big transformations. Okay, this one looks quite crazy. Whoa. So they've hung quite a lot of um, greenery. They've hung like these kind of like faux ivy leaves all across the top with lots of twinkle lights 
I mean, I guess it probably looks really, like they've got a guitar. They're gonna love that shit. Yeah, it's quite cool. Is it practical? Not sure. Would you get bored of it? Again, not sure. I haven't, I actually, I think this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this and it's really creative. And again, everyone's got such a different style and I can imagine this would be really cool for like a younger person, like a teenager's room or something. So yeah, it's actually really cool. Okay, we've got a renovation journey here. This might actually be quite a long video, but Let's stick it out. They got the keys to their home at 25. It's a bungalow and it needs a full transformation. They wanted to add value and sell it after a few years. I definitely wanna get into that in Jesus name. Lots of work. This is the sort of stuff that I just adore. Ah, it's gorgeous. It's really nice. And they still have the garden to do and the main bathroom, but they're nearly there and you can follow them on Instagram. That's cute. I love a renovation video. I love a renovation, like following people on Instagram. I don't really follow a lot of home accounts that just have like brand new houses and just kind of post pictures of their gorgeous houses all the time. Cause after a while it gets a little bit boring. That's why I've stopped doing it for my house as well. I just love seeing people that DIY and people that do renovation work. It's just constantly something different and it's just really cool seeing how it all pans out. So yeah, for me in the future, definitely a huge aspiration to own a few places do them up sell them on um it's something that i want to look into really soon fingers crossed so you guys are gonna have to help and push the video out to more people so that we can get some more homes to do more content in <laughs> we'll do a couple more of these and then i've probably bored you guys to death <laughs> what's this one you will not believe the transformation so as she says Someone take the black paint away from me. So she's clearly just painting everything black. Here, here, sister, I'm with you. Okay, so she's removing these plastic screens. That's cool. And she's got new gold handle. That's cute, I love it. I love a black door. I think they're so chic. If our house had a little bit more room, I would absolutely paint the doors black because I think stunning. If you want to kind of like make something in your house feel a bit more sophisticated, paint it black not gonna lie paint it black okay guys that's it for the video i'm gonna leave it there because i'm not sure how many tiktoks we did um and <laughs> i don't want to bore you guys for too long i hope that you enjoyed that style video i actually i'm gonna take these out while these still in my ears <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here because I feel like we probably did quite a few and I wanna save some for the next video if you wanna see another video like this or if you've got ideas for what sort of TikToks I can react to or YouTube videos or programs or anything like that, then do leave me a comment down below. I would love to know what you think I should do next and if you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, again, help me push it out to more people by liking the video, subscribing, leaving me a comment and sharing it with your friends or anyone that you think might have enjoyed this video or might enjoy my content as a whole follow me over on instagram and just leave me a comment down below just because let's just have a chat let's all just have a chat anyway guys it is the nicest day outside right now so i'm gonna head outside and catch a few rays i will love you and leave you and i will see you in the next one guys take care bye